and then I'm holding her like this, and he keeps crying. Summer of 2019. That's Brendan Bodie being interviewed by Snoqualmie police detectives for the fourth time. They suspect he's responsible for the death of a seven-month-old infant named J.C. in court documents, a crime they tried to charge Bodie with in 2023. So when we made that arrest in March of 23, I thought that he was going to stay in jail at that point. The King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office did not file charges, believing the case would not hold up in court. What we want to have is a case that not only we file, but also that can hold up questions in court. And now we have a case that we, we believe we can prove beyond a reasonable doubt. Now, five years after the death of JC, 27-year-old Brandon Bodie is back behind bars officially charged with second degree murder. He was supposed to be five years old now. Snoqualmie Police Chief Brian Lynch brought new life to the five-year-old murder case. It'll never bring him back. It's not ever, ever gonna ease the sting and the pain, but if it gives just a little bit of comfort knowing that the person that's responsible is behind bars, then we've done our job. A case that starts in March of 2019. That's when police were called to this North Bend urgent care for CPR in progress on an infant. That baby died at Children's Hospital in Seattle. A doctor telling investigators the baby showed injuries consistent with being shaken. The King County medical examiner ruled the death a homicide. Bodie admitted to police he was watching the child. Says the baby appeared to be choking. Later telling investigators he placed the baby on the ground and started CPR. In new charging documents, a medical expert who reviewed the case tells investigators the child died when he sustained his abusive head injury. As Bodie awaits his day in court, Lynch says the boy's mother, now out of state, feels there's some justice for her son all these years later. She's been carrying the guilt around, you know, of having put her son in that position, and she feels vindicated. Prosecutors have charged Brendan Bodie with second-degree murder. He's held in the King County Jail on a $100,000 bail.